now! In China, smallpox scabs were collected from victims and put into bottles. After a month or so, most of the smallpox viruses were dead or weakened. To make a person immune, the powdered scabs were blown into their nostrils. In India, the pus from a mild case of smallpox was used and smeared into a scratch on another person's arm. In Turkey, Lady Mary Wortley Montagu first witnessed the use of poxy pus in 1717. Using poxy pus, how very interesting. And was so impressed, she brought the idea back to England. But the pus was sometimes strong enough to cause the full-blown disease and death. A way had to be found of infecting people without killing them. In 1796, Englishman Edward Jenner saw that milkmaids sometimes caught cowpox. And this made them immune to smallpox. Edward Jenner went on to prove that if you deliberately give someone a small dose of cowpox, they won't get deadly smallpox. 